While evaluating metrics might seem straightforward enough at first glance, it becomes considerably more complex when dealing with large-scale training and evaluation across distributed compute environments, which is pretty common these days in training large-scale AI models. My name is Yufeng Guo, and in this video, we're going to introduce the Metrax library, made for doing evaluation scoring of your machine learning models. Metrax is a JAX-native, high-performance, and open-source evaluation metrics library developed by Google. The ultimate goal is to allow developers to focus on the model evaluation results rather than expending effort on re-implementing and verifying various metrics definitions themselves. One of Metrax's core strengths lies in its foundation as a JAX native library, which allows it to leverage key JAX features like VMAP and JIT, or just-in-time compilation. Many of Metrax's metrics are jittable, meaning that they can be seamlessly integrated with the JAX.JIT function, significantly improving performance and accelerating your evaluation workflows. While not every metric can be JIT compiled, the library is designed with best practices, ensuring that all metrics are still well-written and optimized where possible. Metrax offers a comprehensive suite of predefined metrics commonly used across various types of machine learning models, including classification, regression, recommendation, vision, audio, and language models. The library will incorporate even more metrics in the future as the community's needs evolve. I'll briefly highlight some of the specific metric categories and capabilities that are particularly noteworthy. First up, let's check out the ranking metrics at K. This one's a personal favorite. Metrax has the ability to compute at K metrics for multiple values of K in parallel. This feature allows for a much more comprehensive and efficient evaluation of your ranking model's performance. For instance, you can compute things like precision at K or recall at K for several different K values, like K equals 1, K equals 8, K equals 20, all together in a single forward pass saving considerable time and computational resources compared to running separate computations for each value of k. Next, it's worth mentioning that Metrax has a number of standard natural language processing metrics too, such as perplexity, blue score, and rouge. The library also includes word error rate, which is really useful for speech recognition or text generation by measuring the edit distance between text. For computer vision applications, Metrax provides metrics like intersection over union for semantic segmentation, and both peak signal-to-noise ratio and structural similarity index measure for image quality assessments. Of course, you'll still find those classic metrics like accuracy, precision, recall, F1 score, and more. On a practical level, Metrax is designed for easy integration into your existing JAX workflows and provides a consistent functional API. This API typically involves three main method calls. From model output, used to create the metric class from the inputs. Merge, to update results each time there are more model outputs. And compute, to get the final result. This makes it straightforward to incorporate Metrax metrics directly into your training or evaluation loops, especially for jittable metrics. Metrax is already being used by several Google Core products. Teams within Google Search, YouTube, and Google's own post-training library, Tunix, are leveraging Metrax for their evaluation needs. So you can use Metrax knowing that it has reliability and performance in demanding real-world applications. Metrax has taken on a community-driven development approach and is developed as a GitHub-first repository. This means that the project is open and actively welcomes community contributions. In fact, some of the metrics available in Metrax today were added by external community contributors. So if you have ideas for new metrics or improvements, I encourage you to submit a pull request and collaborate with the development team. Metrax is released under the Apache 2.0 license. I'll link the documentation and GitHub repo in the description down below. The documentation provides really detailed explanations of all the metrics and their definitions. 
So I hope you find it to be a valuable tool in your machine learning endeavors. Do you have a favorite machine learning metric? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if this video was helpful, let me know by clicking the like button. That's all for now. I'll catch you in the next one.